when you just need something to wash the noise down. Stone Brewing and No Effects, Punk and Drublick, Hoppy Lager, 5.8 alcohol by volume. And this is a collaboration between Stone Brewing and Fat Mike, who showed up and mostly just got in the way. And this is for the Punk and Drublick Festival. This is a tapping out show. <laughs> Welcome back to the Tapping Out Show. My name is Jeremy. This is Matt, and we're going to do Stone Brewery's Punk in Drublick. It's a collaboration beer. It's actually done with the singer of the band No Effects, which is the name of their album, one of their albums. They put this together because they're going to do a music festival with the same name. Um, Stone actually, I wouldn't call it sponsors it, but they are making beers for it. So if you're going to look for any of these, maybe your local beer cave might have a six pack hidden, but you're more than likely going to have to go to this to they find have, it. They will have this beer at the festival. So this is a hobby lager. Um, Hoppy Lager. It's a 5.8% alcohol. There was no IBUs given for it. Uh, I mean, it's a lager. I'm not expecting it to be too bitter. Uh, we figured because it is punk and drublick, we weren't going to put this in a fancy glass. We weren't going to. We we're almost going to put this in a brown bag, but we wanted to show you guys the label. But it's punk rock, so we're drinking it out of a can. <laughs> we don't have a. We don't have a paper bag to put around it. But uh, we've been looking forward to this. Um, <laughs> It's kind of funny because to me, and this is just my opinion, maybe because I grew up in that area, but you either love or hate Stone, or you even love or hate No Effects. So, depending on what your opinion is, don't put it, you know, past this beer. At least try to give it a shot. Yeah. Let's do this. Cheers. Cheers. Tastes like some good old American river water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so it is in a can, maybe I should get a glass just to see if it changes it in it by any means, but it tastes like any other American lager pilsner. I shouldn't say any. It has a very I wouldn't distinct say taste. any other. Yeah. I would say it has that taste. Uh, it's got a better finish. You can taste a little hoppiness. Let's try that. It almost like um, it's almost uh, like a American beer, beginning pilsnery, you know, PBR ish. Yeah. With a trail of uh, a little Sierra Nevada kind of ish, you know, ish, ish, ish. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, it's not bad. I mean, it is kind of what it says. Um, I expected. Maybe a little something different, but I mean, it's, it's kind of exactly what it says. No, it, you know what the uh, funny thing is? Not, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I was. Cup of tea. Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting either, because to me, it literally is what you would expect it to be. At, I mean, this would easily be someone at a barbecue at a music festival with a cooler full of this stuff. I would say, if you're gonna get this over a typical American lager, I would choose this over. I'm not gonna say any names or anything like that, but. If you're chasing that kind of flavor, I would say this would dominate over those because we both drink a lot of we drink a lot of domestic beers in our right. days, right? Whether it was our own choice or not, there's going to be a large supply uh, where we'd be hanging out. So you know, versus versus that, um, I would say I, I this this would be a better beer. I'm going to say that you know it does have a very u unique finish um but it does to me really have a a pale american lager taste to it i mean it, it, and that's exactly what they're going for I'm, i mean let's let's face it and especially seeing that that's the kind of uh that was exactly what they're looking for i mean yeah. and I'll, I'll give one credit to stone which is probably a rare thing for me because i i'm not a big fan of theirs but um it's different 
and they did make it fairly well. I mean, you can taste it. Like, it does taste like it's made with decent ingredients. They, they went for something, and they, they did exactly what they said they were going to do. It is a hoppy lager. I'm going to say this. Uh, you first. One out of five. What would you give this? First off, I would suggest trying this beer if you can get your hands on it. Yeah. Um, you know, everyone has different flavors. They're, they're chasing after different stuff. But, I mean, uh, it, it's a good beer. I would say... I don't know, I think we're probably not gonna agree on this one, but I'd probably give like a four and a quarter, four. I'm like, that's that's where I'm kind of at right now. Where, where are you at? I was thinking about 3.75, um, but I could, if you're gonna go I mean, from I a four. Bar, I can barter down to four on it. I can go up to um, a four. So I would say tapping out show is solid I, I four. I would say it deserves at least that. Um, there's a lot of hype behind this beer right now. Uh, maybe because there's limited release yeah. over in California and everything, but I heard a lot about it. Um, we both been kind of busy, so we were, we thought we might be able to not be able to get our hands on it. We got lucky, and we got a couple of them uh, somehow. <laughs> and uh, you know, before before the festival, we're gonna wrap this up. We'll finish these out. Please, uh, Punk and Drublick, if you guys are into punk rock music or just music in general, or you're into beer and punk rock music, check out the dates. If you actually go to their site, which is the Punk and Drublick Fest dot com. You can, you can check out where they're going to be near you. Uh, besides that, we're going to wrap this up. You guys have a good night and cheers.